hey, you want to rig items to your meta human or you need a preview mesh to model on your avatar? In just a few steps, I show you how to export your customized meta human from Unreal Engine. Are you a fashion designer or a 3D artist who wants to expand the portfolio? Learn with me as we explore different tools to create detailed, captivating looks. This tutorial is part of a series where I teach you how to model accessories in Nomad Sculpt and rig them in Blender. And by the way, if you're designing cloth for MetaHuman in Cloth, 3D or Marvelous Designer, you can use a plugin for Unreal to quickly export your MetaHuman preview mesh or even animations. Check out my other tutorials for more tips. Let's get started. Before starting with the export of the MetaHuman, I quickly want to show you which kind of versions you can get from your MetaHuman. So I'm on the MetaHuman creator side and make sure that you have the matching version for your MetaHuman and I'm still using 5.4 and then we need a second to wait. So once it's loaded, we have here our meta humans which we created in the past and it really depending what kind of you created. And what the thing is I want to show you is we want to rig later on items to our meta human character and we use a weight paint in Blender. So that means that probably if we have items which are matching to the items we want to rig, it could be helpful, for example, to add shoes or boots and then using this later for the weight paint and exporting them from But For the purpose of what we do, we need just like the skin of the matter human and we also do the weight paint from the skin. We are in Unreal and we have imported our meta human. And because we also want to use the preview mesh to model on the meta human, I just have a blank one. It's the one with the flip flops, and I deleted the flip flop. You don't need to do this for the purpose of having a preview mesh. And I want to export now the head and the body because they are not attached to each other when you export them. So the first thing I'm doing is go here to edit blueprint and I change to my viewport and now I can select first the body and by clicking on this little folder button I'm opening or I'm linking to the and while double clicking I'm opening it which I don't need. I do a right mouse click on it and then we go to asset action and export. and. We have a new folder for it. So I keep the naming as it is, save. And if you have different settings, actually, the safest way is to reset to default. And then you can follow that we don't need any level of detail for our meta human. And the rest we can keep and we export the FBX. And then I jump back to my blueprint, select the head. And again, selecting the head with a little button. Asset action, export, and I call it face mesh. And the settings we keep as before. And then we open a new scene and I delete the existing parts here out by pressing X. So I have an empty scene and I want to import my meta human. So I'm import FBX and I'm searching for my folder and I import both in once. And the things we need to change is that we have manual orientation and I set it to minus X and that up. And also for the armature, I change to X and Y. And then I'm importing my FBX. And 
now I have my face mesh and my body mesh and I need to delete the root because we want to create actually a preview mesh. So the root is really annoying when I'm importing it into Nomad Sculpt and you could delete it there by itself, but it takes a long time. So I'm selecting the root and with the X I delete it. And now I want to join my both meshes and I select them both and press Ctrl J. And I delete the other parts which are left. I don't know exactly what it is. And now I want to check it scaled up during the process when I deleted the root. So I need to actually scale my meta human back down by 0.01. And then if I see it's now 1 meter 68 tall, and this is the correct size for a female body. And now we can export it as an OBJ. I select my folder, but I can keep all the settings as they are.